Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have man holding a heart with woman holding a heart. You know what I'm picking up here though is one side is definitely feeling regret or feeling upset how the situation has unfolded but I see two people thinking about each other longing for each other and uh, possibly there's they've been apart for quite a while I'm afraid to contact you and I lost myself for a little while yeah someone's definitely afraid to make the first move here the love is very much real and there, even though there's distance. Overall energy, five of cups. This is about regret, remorse, and disappointment. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the sun, the emperor, and the nine of wands. Yeah, so there's like a realization here that I feel like you guys have been going through of it doesn't matter what is happening or how things are going to unfold here in the outcome, especially with this situation. Uh, you realize that you have to choose yourself. You have to choose uh, what's healthy for you and realize that you have to stay in control of your life and what you want no matter what others do. Even if they end up disappointing you here because I see that you're kind of taking a stance and realizing that other people have disappointed you, especially a certain someone, so much that it's become so hurtful. But I love this one for you this week because you're finally seeing that all this pain and struggle was worth it, that you're feeling much better about yourself, more in control as well. So if you felt lately uh, very distant or, um, you know, really sad and out of control, this is a week where things are going to start changing, okay? You're going to start feeling much better. Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the King of Pentacles for their energy. So they are definitely hiding from you. Uh, they've been in this energy, looks like for a while here in this Eight of Swords, a feeling like, you know, I, I don't know what to do. i taking a stance as well. They have been in their ego a little bit. Uh, kind of feeling like they want to win in the situation. They don't want to make the first move, but also uh, attached to that is some fear here. Uh, fearful of making the right move or the wrong move or contacting uh, and feeling like, okay, I'm just going to wait on them. I'm going to wait for a sign from them. And uh, they are viewing you in the Queen of Wands here, feeling like, you know, you've got everything together, that they don't deserve you in a sense, especially with the Seven of Swords here. They feel very intimidated by your presence because they realize that they've done something very sneaky here. Uh, tell me this Eight of Swords. Empress. I mean, they're viewing you on a pedestal, okay? They are very fearful of what to do next. Tell us the King of Pentacles. We have Chariots and Six of Wands. So you kind of caught them off guard. They didn't really think they would have these strong emotions here for you, uh, especially since there's been some time that has passed. But they also uh, are fearing here that maybe too much time is passing uh, and they're kind of trying to manifest this, okay? Trying to draw you in. So I do see if you guys are feeling a tug at times or, you know, all of a sudden you think about them or um, you're sensing some different emotion that you're not feeling, uh, that's them sending you their energy here. So there's a lot of uh, signs and synchronicities, things happening behind the scenes uh, from the universe. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups for what's happened in the past. So a lot of disappointments. You really did feel emotionally they were rejecting you so much all of the time. And it felt like that they were slow moving in the situation that uh, you were very dedicated and loyal to them here, but they weren't really reciprocating that. It was almost like they were more in control of their emotions, detached at times as well. And uh, feeling like they were focused on themselves in the Four of Cups. 
Uh, Ten of the Four of Cups. The Star, Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's not seeing right in front of them that their wish fulfillment, everything that they desire was just gifted to them. Uh, it's like they were denying their own feelings is what I'm picking up. Let's see why. Tell me the King of Cups. We have Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, because it would take a lot of commitment, a lot of energy from their side if they finally decide to give all of themselves to you. They would really have to offer you stability here. But uh, I'm picking up that this person doesn't really believe in the longevity of love. Uh, that they feel like, you know, the honeymoon phase or that period where you have that euphoric feeling, when it finally dies off, there's nothing left, nothing sustainable. And it's just something that they think or believe. It's not really a reality, but it makes them fearful to get into a committed situation or serious. I do see some of you, um, they are either in a committed situation already or you've been committed to them before, but things didn't work out. But they still have this belief system, uh, almost regretting as well that... They didn't make it things happen the way that they should because they just feel like, you know, well, that kind of emotion is not sustainable. Okay, so it makes them hesitant to really reach out or uh, want to fix things. Also, to get serious again. So I see them very confused during this situation. So Nine of Swords, World, Five of Swords, Temperance, and the Three of Pentacles. So they were playing some games here, okay? So you were picking up on it, I see. Um, because at times they would give you a little bit of hope. They would talk to you and you felt like things were going on the right path and it made you feel really good. But then the next moment they would kind of run, detach here. Uh, they had a lot of fear, Nine of Swords. And uh, they kind of played this little game, uh, keeping you hooked in the situation. I think we saw something like this uh, a week ago. Tell me the Knight of Swords. If this is the same person, but uh, I'm picking up, you guys might be dealing with a Cancer, an Aquarius, an Aries, or even a Virgo. Okay, if you uh, are dealing with that or have it in your chart. But uh, it doesn't have to be. But King of Wands, Four of Swords. Yeah, there's no peace in this situation. It really did feel like you were always on edge. You were always fearing the worst. And it felt like they just were not willing to compromise. There was no compromising in the situation. Tell me the Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So at times, you know, it had to go their way. It was a hypocritical energy. It felt like, you know, you were held to a certain standard, but they weren't. And it seemed like this little game that you had to play with them, because if you pushed it too far, they would detach more. So I see them running away from difficult conversations or anything dealing with emotions here. But at times they can be charming. They can suck you back in and make you feel like there's hope in the situation. And it felt just kind of like an emotional roller coaster for you. Uh, tell me the Five of Swords, Temperance, World, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys were always on the edge. You never knew what was going to happen next, but also what to do with them. As time progressed, you were kind of at a loss, uh, not knowing how to act uh, because you were afraid of their reaction or how they were going to treat you. Because I do see some punishment here that they would do, uh, making you feel like they didn't care, which could be abandoning you quite a bit or detaching for a longer period of time. Or also uh, Page of Cups giving you empty promises, right? Realizing that they weren't going to follow through and they knew they weren't, but making you feel good at the time. So I see some of you, this person could love bomb you a lot, uh, but there is some uh, manipulation here emotionally. So let's see what's going to happen next. We have the Lovers, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So there is a surprise here for you where... 
things are going to finally start moving in the direction that you always wanted it to go. So I do see if you are dealing with a Virgo, this is kind of similar to their reading. So you might want to check it out if that's the case or you have it in your chart. Um, but I see that this is going to turn into a, a completely different direction. All of a sudden, there's going to be sudden movements that makes things feel like a whirlwind here. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.